Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have in shop today, new customer, new vehicle I never saw before. This one is 2008 Toyota Prius. It has 176,000 miles on the clock. And the reason the owner brought it for a detail inspection, because he knows it's getting older, he doesn't know if he should keep it. So he wants me to tell him if it's a keeper. Somebody told him that he needs a new front shocks. He needs some brakes. You can see what's missing here immediately, correct? He doesn't have a shield. This catalytic converter is in the great danger. Here you can see shields, all kinds of shields lined up here on the floor. And that's a brand new one. That's a spoiler for you. Look at that. Cat Shield has mega awesome shield for Tundra and Sequoia in this year. So hopefully you can read it. Just a spoiler. Look how thick this shield is. That's like a bulletproof skid plate. But what I have to do, and I cannot see the fluid in the hybrid transaxle because there's no dipstick. I already checked the engine oil. It's low, it's dirty. That's definitely was not taken seriously. So let's go look together how you check the fluid in this hybrid transaxle. And immediately warning no matter how you think this is convenient here don't open it there's coolant in it your drain is here which is hex 10 hopefully you can see it perfectly with a crush washer and don't look for your fill on the side on gen 2 of prius it's hiding right there i hope you can see it so 24 millimeter filler and here is the drain Let's go and take a sample. Here to make it perfect, we have perfectly clean jar from German sauerkraut you love so much. So that's on the hand here. Excuse me for the noise. And you saw, you are the expert, you saw how much corrosion is around that plug. So basically, you will not waste your time with 3.8 hex 10 and 38 ratchet do you grab the biggest which you have in my case that's a half i'm trying not to get in your way always make sure that hex it's all the way in and only after you will try to crack it open i have also ac dripping ac water dripping on my head it's a lot of fun but look this one wasn't actually so bad and that's our inspection Somebody screaming, oh my God, he didn't crack open the filler yet. Well, I'm just getting miniature amount of this fluid out, so I'm not in the danger that I will drain the hybrid transaxle. And after that, I will be not able to open the filler. Also note for you, I'm sorry I'm in your way probably, but that's the way this, this is the angle of that drain plug trying to be careful and don't change the level of this hybrid transaxle fluid getting it out very slowly the small sample will be for this owner enough or for us for us for me and for him so look i'm closing it already now I will pause the camcorder and invite you to look at the sample. When you are torquing it, you go the other way. You are not going to hold it all the way here and strip it or break it. You have to be careful. So either you change your ratchet and, or you hold it really close to put correct torque on that crush washer. Don't forget this is or aluminum, so you don't want to Damage the threads. I will wipe it off and let's go look at the sample. And for already stated reason, I took only very, very tiny amount of 
that sample. I don't want to alter the level, but you can probably see with me. This is darker. It's not the worst of the worst. Definitely not. But I will actually recommend to drain and fill this hybrid transaxle. I can see that oil, it's a WS, Toyota WS, that's all I will use on this. I will stick with OEM. I will recommend a drain and a refill on this for a purpose of keeping this vehicle hopefully until let's say 300,000 miles. And this is how you inspect your hybrid transaxle transmission fluid. As we said, it's a Toyota WS. I believe if you do drain and refill, it's less than four quarts. It's, so it's very little investment in the maintenance. It's cheap, affordable, let's say, but it will help the vehicle last for another at least 150, 130,000 miles. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.